at my blog at WUSA9.com. Right now I have a live chat room and I'm helping you with your travel weather. If you have an out of town destination and you need a forecast, that's the way to find out. Let's send it back over to Andrea. Thank you, Kim. Republican lawmakers, conservatives, and grassroots activists are gearing up for a fight over President Obama's first nominee to the Supreme Court. A number of legal experts believe there's a good chance the nominee will be a woman. With us now is D.C. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Ontario. Well, Justice Ginsburg has said it's lonely being the only woman on the high court. She misses Sandra Day O'Connor, and she also believes that women bring a life experience to the court that the men, although she respects them, can't bring to the court. Is picking a woman high on your list of qualifications for the next Supreme Court Justice? Very high, Andrea. You know, I continue to teach one course at Georgetown Law School. What you see are as many men as women, as many women as men going, mm -hmm. going to law school. And they've been, the numbers have been increasing in law school and now in the profession for decades. No excuse for my good friend, the president, not to choose a woman. I, I think I also have to say I know how Hispanics must feel. Yes, exactly. Because um, I remember when there was no African American on the court, and that's, this is the fastest growing uh, population in the United States. So I would like to see a, a woman, and I would like to see a Hispanic. And that could and be I a possibility. I say that as a black person. <laughs> that could be a possibility. You could get the two in one, couldn't you? Could. you? Yes, you could. Now, let me ask you this. How ugly a fight is this going to be, whoever the nominee is? Well. Uh, I have no um, illusions, but I see no reason for there to be a fight. Mm -hmm. Every Republican says, look, we know he's going to appoint someone who reflects his philosophy, just as President Bush and President Reagan did, and look what we got mm -hmm. for it, if I may say so. Uh, the President did say something about uh, um, someone who has empathy, and so they're trying to jump on that. What the President was saying is that if you have a court full of law professors and judges who have been away from the public for a very long time, they may have lost touch mm -hmm. with what the law is all about. It's about uh, making sure that we reflect not only what the law says, but particularly in close cases. Mm -hmm. uh, as uh, Justice Ginsburg said recently when the Ledbetter case came, came out, real life experience. Exactly. All right, we do want to move on to something that's very close to your heart. I read on your website, this is a, a small business fair that no small business owner should miss. What's happening at the convention center and when? Well, May 13th, uh, and if you have a business in D.C. or live in D.C., you just can't afford to miss this because... Um, D.C. has an advantage mm -hmm. during this recession, if you can imagine. Uh, this, there's a lot of stimulus money out here. We get the stimulus money that comes with being a city, but we also get extra stimulus money. I have a billion dollars to build the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, uh, we have m extra money because <laughs> there are so many federal buildings here that need repair. How many jobs can we be talking about? Well, on 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 the Department of Homeland Security and Ward 8 alone, we're talking 38,000 jobs. Wow. Uh, so we have the opportunity to have jobs and small businesses already, Andrea. I've been having uh, workshops so that our small businesses in D.C. get some of this business. We had 8A workshops about how to get on uh, the, uh, the GSA schedule. Mm -hmm. And if you come to this fair... Uh, at the convention center, May 13th, uh, you will learn everything from uh, loans. Some loans will be given on the spot wow. by, by banks uh, to how to take advantage of the president's uh, $15 billion for small businesses and the new 90% of small business loans that will be guaranteed. This is free, but you do have to register first come, first serve, and at the end of the show, you'll be able to go to our website and see the Congresswoman's uh, website and get a link to that. Before we go, though, I know you wanted to remember a former colleague of yours, Jack Kemp. Indeed, I do, and I, I say this with, with the greatest affection. Uh, Jack Kemp knew how to make allies across political lines and friends across racial lines better than any politician I have ever known. And among and he broke with his party and yet his party loved him. It broke his party on sanctions for South Africa and he broke with his party on the DC Voting Rights Act and in breaking with his party 
he became a 